Hello everyone and welcome back to Ninja Curly Warrior. Today is the start of the second episode. In the last episode, the first 40 out of 100 competitors took up in school in four stage obstacle course. And only three were actually able to clip stage one, which is pretty surprising and an improvement from last time. Now today, another 40 competitors will be taking on stage one. These include even more newcomers and regulars, but also some veterans that will be competing today. Well, let's stop dealing dealing and let's get down to the course and see how these 40 will do. Starting off, the first stage today is obviously Ari, a, uh, another women newcomer, I guess, and she instantly falls out of the first step. Good job, bud. You've really shown yourself to be a ninja. Next up is I'm silly at everything. Well, are you going to be silly at this run or are you going to be serious? I, I seriously don't know. I mean, this show is always going to be like retardedly silly. But you know what she's doing? It's good so far. She's not slacking it. And okay, she. Well, never mind. She falls off the rope and she forgets to jump. Wait. And next up is Muffin Power 1, 2, 3. But who's running? That's the mime. Oh, okay. That's Muffin Power. That was just weird. For a second, there was like, okay, who, who's running? And well, now wait, there we go. Alright, so Muffin Power's onto this spin bridge. Spin him right up, boring. Falls right off the last ball. Good job. Good job. Will our next guy, Mike Cheese Guy, be able to make it through this grueling stage? Well, knowing him, he's a piece of cheese, firstly, and he's Mike, so I seriously don't know how that combination will work, but hey, anything is possible in the world of Roblox, yeah. So he's doing good so far, he's completed the spinning bridge, now he's onto the jumping spider, the first one today, and he makes the landing. He's going through pretty smoothly. Can you make it to the end part? Oh, yes he does, and he's onto the circle slider. Very excellent for a piece of cheese. However, what kind of piece of cheese is he? I mean, he could be cheddar, he could be parmesan, he could be fiesta mix. I mean, I seriously don't know if he's any of those. It's probably just some kind of contaminated sewer cheese, but you know, anything's possible. Like I said. And he's off. Onto that pendulum, and completes it. Onto the um, Tarzan jumps, ropes, things. He's doing good so far, he's speeding quite through it. He may be able to complete stage one if he doesn't fuck up. Well, can he make that jump to the mat? Um, okay, cameraman, we don't know if he failed or not, but hey, if he didn't touch, we're fine. And he becomes the first clear today. In today, yeah, he basically is the first clear today with a time of 7.56 seconds. Good job, Mike Cheese Guy. Very weird name, but hey, anything is possible, and he did good. But again, back in the replay, he completed a lot of the obstacles pretty well. He made up his jumping spider, warp wall, uh, his double pendulum just fine. Shoot, he did well in the final obstacle, and he'll be earning himself a ticket to stage two. So, hopefully, he'll do good there. Hopefully. Well, next up, we're on to our next person, King Cobra, or x whatever you call it. I don't know why the people have X put X's in the name, and she falls off the third step. XXX, you fail. There you go. I'm hip now. Next up is Gumberry Cake Cupcake Donut. Oh my god. There's long names. Seriously. You're making it so painful for the editor who has to edit this every single day of their lives just to get one episode done and have to deal with a dumb shit who fails a spinning bridge, have a long name. Sorry, that was just me being angry. But next up, we're on to Pauly McCartney, the, um, another guy. Um, he competed, what, a couple times before, so he's kind of new, regular, I think. And he's doing good so far, he's making it through the spinning bridge just fine, completes it. Also, by the way, I'm actually doing this recording a little bit. And he just fails the jumping spider. Good job, bud. Next up is Dakanaski, whatever the hell that name is, I give up. I'm done. I can't even pronounce names anymore. <laughs> <I mean laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, anyway, he's onto the spinning bridge, or the spin bridge. What are you looking at? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm petting my dog here for a second. And he falls up the spin bridge. Next up is Andrestical. No comment, really. I, I have no comment, but he's 
doing good so far. Makes it do that to the rope. Jumps easily and completes it. Bridge range, the spin bridge, and doing good so far. Um, yeah. So the jumping spider was 60 seconds. And he just completely undershots that jump in second bridge. Good job, bud. You've really made a footnote for everyone else for yourself. Next up is Pickle Juice 10238. Oh, Green dude thing. Ah. I seriously don't know what I'm gonna have to say about this guy. But he's a pickle. I'm. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And can he slick it? Can he. S Never mind. I was. Thank God I didn't make that joke. After those first unfortunate nine competitors and only one clear, the next ten took on stage one. However, the results were pretty depressing. First up with Fadoodle, 83, failing to dismount. Hove 323 falling the second ball onto the spin bridge. Pop McCartney falling off the Tarzan jump on the second rope. Lord Lenny here falling off the second ball again. <laughs> then after that is no all five fell the second step. Uh, Bricks stay yay oh five whatever felt the jumping spider. Then after him was and draw water coal and all who failed the jumping spider, just like his boy. And after that was Roblox Gamer Play 7. Who sadly will not be making the stage two this time. After him was one two three Yemi XOX Phil Stone steps with the next few converse coming. <sighs> next up is um, Bus Seven Eight Nine, a um, three point oh. Yeah, that's all I have. Um, feeling good so far. Completes the things. This. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, um, I bought this episode. I had to get this done a little bit fast, and she falls off this this now. Like I was saying, I had to get this episode fast out. Uh, next up is Party Fun 64. Um, guy likes to party on the Nintendo 64, or whatever. I seriously don't know. And he falls off the third step, fourth step, whatever, and he's dead. He's drowning, I guess. Next up is Blue Tides Roblox, the guy who starves so much to death. He's literally a freaking skeleton. A brown skeleton, that is, too. So we're really into a ride today. So on to the second step. Taking a lot of time on this first obstacle. Probably won't be his best idea, but... What is it? Any ideas have been good, you know? Every idea has been, like, the most retarded. And he's just falling off this mouth. Good job, bud. Good job to you. And next up is... Regular Bilix Ben. Um... He's found mostly um, early to mid and early in stage one. Um, I mean, this spin bridge in tournament 16, I think. And spin bridge like this last time, the first obstacle. But he's already on to the second obstacle, so he may build. Never mind, he slips right off and just rages off. And he told me my first obstacle sucks, so he's completely right on that. And next up is a same Shime or. As I firmly call it, and the easiest way to say his name, John the Great 8000. This guy has been competing um, probably since late 2014, I think. I seriously don't. Well, maybe I think he did. And he's doing good so far. He's um, he's usually made it around the mid to early stage one parts where he's failed, similar to how Billix Ben has, but he's doing good so far. He's onto the circle slider now. Completes with ease. He's doing really good so far this time. So far. <laughs> and he's under the double pendulum. Doing a speed approach to it. Completes it though and gets on backwards. Very dangerous tactic, I agree. I don't know why I agreed with that, but it was dangerous. It's onto the Tarzan ropes now. He's going a little bit slow on these, but to be honest, you know, any tactic works in this. He's got Almost 10 seconds left, though, see, man, the ping on the pace. And the collections are getting sounding. He may have to just go fast here. He's just gonna have to bust his balls and get over there, but it doesn't count because he already cleared stage one with a time of 2.66 seconds. Becoming the second finalist of the day. Pretty good run by um, John. I mean, considering he has failed the first and early obstacles in stage one a couple of tournaments back. It's pretty cool to see that he's made a full-on return. 
or full on comeback on this course. And he did pretty well on the replay of the shows, and once again he'll be moving with Mike Cheese Die to stage two. After him was the next five runners, including Coinstacks who filled the second step and drowned. And after him was Dill Pickle Blue House who ended up falling off the third ball. After him was Goku for 30 who fell off the fourth step and took a shit in the water. After him was Cody and Joey who fell off the dismount, stone steps, and after him was the autumnal in Quinas who fell off the fourth step. Alright, we're on to our final ten runners of the day. Starting with Void Array, who... Oh, he just said he... Oh, he just said he just disqualified himself. Well then, that... That happened, I guess, so... One runner down, nine more to go! With, basically, I do work 309890. Oh, Freaking Jesus! And he fails the second step. I was about to say his name is ridiculous, but no need for that. Next up is Endless TV. Who I think is um, Enderman, Quid, yes, some no. It was the Enderman, one of the en Enderman Quid guys. And I think he was also Endless on YouTube, who made it stage 3 back in 2015. But, um, doing good so far. He's onto the Jumping Spider now. Um, well. Seeing the consecutive jumping spider fails, I'm gonna have to probably replace that obstacle. I know, I just spoiled it for tournament set 19, but that obstacle is just ridiculous. I mean, how many have failed it? Like 20? <laughs> probably a quarter, probably even a half have failed this goddamn obstacle. But anyway, Endless is onto the double pendulum, regenerates it. Now he's onto the thing, can he do it? And he's. What? Are you serious? What? He just jumped right off! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, that was unexpected. Next up, we're on to our next guy, Mr. Cap Perez. Cap Perez, and he falls up the second ball, slipping right off and just swings right off like it didn't happen. Next up is um, Omar X Swag. Will his swag be able to make the swaggiest run of the day? I. Don't know. Let's find out. If you'll never mind. He just swagged his way out of the course. Good job. And he just leaves the game. Next up is Among the Gaming, who is the next guy, and he slips off the step. Yep. Yeah, yeah, he Yep, he touched the water there. He touched the water on that second step. Yep. Anyway, we're on to the fourth runner. Fourth last fourth the fourth last runner. Did he peep the cat one? He's a guy named Pete who ends up failing the first step once again. Good job, bud. That's the fourth time I probably said bud. <laughs> uh, next up is finally another regular King Sparkity. He is the um, another guy who's been competing since uh, 2015. He is the co-host of Mark and Adrenaline Warrior, which is I think having its uh, second season in a couple weeks. And um. That he's pretty much well known for being on American and American Adrenaline Warrior co-host, and you know that's a good that's a good show. If you guys ever seen it, you guys should check it out. But my rambling has already went on long enough, and he's already on to the warp wall with 44. What did he? What? 44 seconds, and he goes back and up, but still makes it up. And he has them the double pendulum. And does it a new way? That's you know, that's always something. You now he's onto the Tarzan rope dismount and he's onto the Tarzan ropes. And oh, okay, he's doing decent so far. He's going at a pretty fast pace. I think he's going faster than a lot of people. Um, for the clears and well, basically he's. I think he's the fastest one today with a time of 12.657, seconds, becoming the third finalist of stage one. The job you kink, he'll be on stage two with the others. Alright, we're on to our second to last runner of the day, Cookie Jar. That's it, just Cookie Jar. Basic, simple, like no, no difference, just a simple name. Like, I don't have to like cooperate, be coherent. It's just one name, Cookie Jar. 
He just made it easy for my life to narrate this whole show. One name, Cookie Jump. There you go. And I'm quick with my rambling, and he's already onto the jumping spider. Doing good so far, and dismounts it good, and it's onto the circle slider. I don't think you cut it close to the jumping spider part, though. He's doing the circle slider just fine. He's onto the warp now. The warp wall. <laughs> Sorry, I apologize for my shitty narrating. I just enjoy my weekend. Uh, he's on to the swing. Can he do it? Gets on weird way. Chris crosses it, but still makes it. Now he's on to the Tarzan ropes. He might be actually able to tie King Sparkity or do better than King Sparkity on his time. He's on to the ropes. Alright, he has 20 seconds left. He may be able to beat him. But he's taking a little bit too much time, so he may not be able to beat him. However, seeing as this one so far, he's clear stage one with a time of 11.99 seconds left on the clock. Becoming the fourth player of today. And he'll be moving with the others once again to stage one, two. Okay, now we're on to our final runner of the day, Grace the Dancer 05. And she is a, um... Another regular, and she blasts through those freaking steps. Jesus Christ, that's... <laughs> oh, I've never seen anyone do that in a while. And um, she's doing pretty good so far. She's onto the jumping spider now. Going pretty fast, I'd say. <laughs> Defeats it just fine. Oh, she's onto the circle slider now. It's onto it. Can she do it? Yes, she can. Now he's on to the work wall now. Have a little bit of trouble. Well, not that much, but still a little. But she makes it up and she's on to the double pendulum now. Takes three tries, but still does it. Completes it. Now she's on to the Tarzan rope. She wants to go. Oh, it looks really close, actually. <laughs> Thought she was about to fell off, but she got lucky, though. Looks like she may be able to tie King Sparky for his fast time. Oh, doing good. I don't know why I'm talking about tiny times, but either way, she becomes the fifth player today, becoming the second fastest run of the time. Wow, <laughs> that was actually really good for a um, girl to count. And she cheers on the stand as she takes it all in. Looking at the replay, she did really well on a lot of the obstacles, including the spinning bridge, the jumping spider, the warp wall. I mean, she really made the course look like a piece of cake. And just like the others, she'll be moving on with King Cheese Guy, um, John, and Cookie Jar. Today, the next 40 competitors took on this grueling four-stage obstacle course, and out of 35, five were actually able to complete stage one. These include some newcomers, regulars, and veterans, including Mike Cheese Guy, John the Great 8000, or Shane Shamie, King Sparkity, Cookie Jar, and Grace the Dancer 05. These five will move on with the other three from last episode and be facing stage one. Now stay tuned for next episode as the next 25 will be taking on stage 1. These include newcomers, regulars, veterans, all-stars, and grand champions. But until then, stay tuned for more clears, more fails, and of course, more Ninja Coolia Warrior.